let us pass. Hello, Ivar. There's no mistaking you. This particular season, there are a lot of new things going on. Four brothers grow up, and that's a big thing. That's interesting to see that generation shift, that jump in, in time. Ragnar wanted to sail to Paris. He wanted to be famous. Isn't that more important? He betrayed our name. If he ever came back, I would kill him. <sighs> Me too. He is our father. And that is the end of it. Ivor is still that teenage boy who needs love. He is all by himself, and, and he is left alone by the only one that he really needed, his father. So when Ragnar returns, that's a huge step for him. Ragnar fills him with ambition to, you know, develop and do something, go out into the world, and not just dragging himself around. <laughs> I would... I will try to will my stupid legs to work so I can go out and find you. I'll tell you how much I needed you. How much I hated you. When we see him when he's older, he's a formidable character. And he's compensated for not being able to walk. He's very, very clever. He works things out. He fights in his head. So he's going to be a great military strategist. Because the thing about Ivor is the constant pain, dealing with being a cripple in a Viking culture, where you're, you're actually nothing if you're a cripple in that culture. So because of that and because of the troubles he's having, he's, he's very, very strong. He also turns out to be pathologically cool. That was the historical Ivor's reputation. But in the context of who he is, being a cripple in a Viking society, you can understand his need to impress himself upon all those around him, even his Viking brethren. Even they are scared of him. Are, are, are you afraid of being seasick? I'm not afraid of anything, brother. Not even me? Ivor the Boneless is one of the most famous Vikings of them all, and one of the most feared. And uh, Ivor the Boneless will become a totally charismatic, totally central, wonderful character who I think people are going to enjoy. And as he says himself, who would have thought that the true heir of Ragnar Lossbrook would be a cripple and a reject? Your father's return brings calamity. Chaos.